ready, Tracy? Yep. Hang on. Here you go. <laughs> what will you think of next? <laughs> Rub a dub dub. One gorilla in a tub. That looks like fun. <laughs> you want a ride, Jake? Later. Right now, Jessica's reporting on TV from Norway. This is Jessica Ray reporting live from Norway, where I will be accompanying this year's Global Peace Prize winner, Alex Miller, to Oslo, where he will be awarded his prize. Dr. Miller is well known for his contributions to world peace. Peace! That's what's wrong with the world! All these humans ever talk about is peace! Peace, peace, peace! Ooh, they should give you a prize for evil! You can say that again, Fib Face! Okay, they should give islands! You have an idea, I can tell! <laughs> what is it, oh master of meanness? If the prize winner is captured, there would be no peace prize. And if every country blamed the other, there would be no peace. Exactly, Bratty, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me do it, boss. Please, please, nasty peace. You can't be spared, my precious pet. But one of you can. Send him! I just remembered I have something I have to do! <laughs> now, now! Pull yourself together, scared stiff! I'm trying to find my feet! Here, let me help! Oh, oh, very cold! Getting warmer! Warmer! Now you're hot! Aha! You were trying to fool me! Now I'll just put this on! Look at him! He doesn't know his left foot from his right! <laughs> Airhead, make sure that silly peace prize isn't awarded this year! And send me a postcard from Sweden! Sorry, great one, but Oslo is in Norway! That's what I said, you nincompoop! Of course you did! We will be traveling to Oslo by train. Jessica must be so proud to be the only reporter traveling with the winner. Stopping in cities to give interviews to the press. <laughs> Jake, that snowman just moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's no snowman. It's Airhead! Jessica, look out! Would you care to say a few words, Dr. Miller? <laughs> look out! Oh, no, it's Airhead! Are you all right? Yes, thanks to you. This is a job for... Oh, I hope you're watching, guys. The Ghostbusters! We're watching, Jess! <laughs>
lose it. Tomorrow, you all go on diets. Flight mode, Tracy. Where to this time? Norway. Jessica needs us. <laughs> You'll have your friends to keep you warm, TV. That's what I'm afraid of. I should have known Airhead would gum it up. I'll have to send someone else. Now let me see who. Apparition? Yes, your loneliness. Stop that train. Take Scared Stiff with you. Make sure he doesn't lose his head! <laughs> Evil will stop at nothing to accomplish his evil. I know. Any threat to world peace concerns me greatly. Well, we're all in good hands with the Ghostbusters. You know, the most important thing in life is how we treat each other. We know. Thanks for coming. <laughs> That, Jessica. Thanks, Eddie. Now stay there. Not again. <laughs> Allow me. Be my guest. <laughs> Way to go, Tracy. This train. I wouldn't be so sure about that. No, no. <laughs> Anything you say, lady, or whatever you are. A lady will do just fine. Now, time to put this tin can in high gear. Get ready, Alex. We're coming into the station. Jake, sh uh, shouldn't we be slowing down? You're right. We seem to be going faster. And now the moment we've been waiting for. The arrival of this year's Global Peace... 
choice winner. What happened? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have ourselves a runaway train. Hey, Jake, your nose is twitching. You're right, Jess. <laughs> Can only mean ghost taking over the, the train. Prime Evil strikes again. Yeah, oh, Jake, look! Apparition and scared stiff. No, no, don't, don't come near me. Hello and goodbye, ghoulies. Not so fast. Ready, scared stiff. Now, switch it on. <laughs> Pardon my shocking, you all! Oh, no! Scared stiff short circuit of the dematerializer! Nothing can stand up to the power of evil. You are wrong. Peace is stronger than evil. Well said, Dr. Miller. You'll see, Apparitia. What you won't see is your peace prize. The prize is not important. It is merely a symbol of peace. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, because you're not leaving this train. Bye-bye, all. Scared Stiff and I are going back to the engine. Ooh, I just love runaway trains. Oh. Jake, that, that sounds like an airlock. Right! The door won't open! Hey, folks! We've got a runaway train on our hands! We've got to stop it! Right! How do we get to the engine? Well, if we can't go through the train, we'll just have to go over the train. Stay here, Jess. Come on, Tracy. We've got some climbing to do. Careful, Tracy. The ice has made the train slippery. Okay, okay. Find out what's going on up there. But it's cold outside! Then you should have worn a sweater. Now move it! Here I come! Whoa! Whoa! Trace. Uh, that's okay. I'm so cold and scared. <laughs> <laughs> hey, scared stiff. You really are scared stiff. You won't be laughing when I get hold of you. That robot's in a hurry. <laughs> This always happened to me! To the locomotive, Trace. Let's drop in on Apparitia. Sheesh! I, I know it's in here someplace. Gee, ta-da! Tracy's been looking all over for this! Please, Eddie, hurry! Oh, sure thing, Jess. Yeah, here it is! Stand back, please. Come on, let's go! Sorry, Apparitia. Scared stiff fell off the train. Bad break for you. Break? Oh, you mean this break? <laughs> Jay! By golly, that's my break! She's gummed up the works now! Eddie, zap her with the ghost gummer! I expected that. <laughs> my rubber D gummer will take care of you. <laughs> I 
I'll just take this with me. You won't need it. Bye-bye. Jake, how are we going to stop this train without a break? Hey, what time is it? Midnight. Why? It's a full moon. You can call the wizard for help. Buddy, we need you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Are you cold? Please, make this train stand still. Uh, what's that? Speak up. Train stand still. <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> Where did that come from? No, buddy, not hill. Stand still. Sorry, guys. Ooh, got to go now. Uh-oh. What goes up must come down. Please, not over the top. Hang on! It's no good. The train's slowing down. Yeah, and that guy will get the Peace Prize after all. If we don't put that train in a deep freeze, Prom Evil's gonna put us on ice. I got it! A big snowball! That'll cool him off for a while! Hmm. For once, you may have come up with a good idea, Stiffo. Boy! If only Prom Evil could see me now! Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Stop! Do anything right. <laughs> Blast! It's not even gonna hit the train. Ooh. But wait! Global Peace Prize and is addressing his audience. Thank you, Ghostbusters, and Jessica Ray for your support and courage. We share a common dream that one day all nations will live in peace and harmony in a free world. Dr. Miller sure had a hard time getting to Oslo to pick up his peace prize. For sure. The journey to peace is never easy. But it's worth it. Like Dr. Miller said, the most important thing in life is how we treat each other. And when you treat people with respect, it builds trust. And trust brings about peace. Major Okie Dokie. <laughs>
again from like the, the second chorus. Right. Two, three, four. Wow, did you see that glass break? Of course, because we hit the right frequency. Yeah, man, we better remember that last chord. It's heavy. How do you like my new group, Aunt Futura? Oh, it's wonderful. You and Ray and Tempo are the best rock group in the galaxy. That's why we call ourselves Future Rock. We're just about to take off for a very important concert on Spectre. Uh, Spectre? That's a ghost planet and a very dangerous place. Why would anyone want a rock group to play there? I guess they heard we were good. And you know what? I got the job by myself and... Oh, I'm sorry, Laser. When your parents went on vacation, I promised to take care of you as though you were my own child. But at Futura... And ghost planets are too dangerous. I just can't let you go to Spectre. Oh, now we can't go. Oh, uh, yes, we will, Ray. Yes, we will. Jake! Jake! What? Ow! Drake, hold it down for a minute! What'd you say? I just wanted you to hear Tracy's drama. Hear it? I haven't heard anything else for the last two weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, Trace. I, I didn't mean it. I, I love your drumming. Yeah, play some more rock and roll. Laser! Laser, where are you? Where could they have gone? Laser said they'd be practicing for hours. That's Laser's rocket, and it's headed for Planet Spectre. He's going to do the concert even after I told him not to. Jake, look! Now what? Hi, guys. Oh, uh, sorry about the noise. Uh, how are you, Futura? I'm fine. Or I should say I was fine until a little while ago. Wow, what happened? It's my nephew, Laser. I'm afraid he may be getting himself in some serious trouble. Check it out. Spectre's a scary-looking kind of place, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's just a little dark. In an hour or so, it'll be full of kids. I hope you're right. Well, you broke your Aunt Futura's rules when you brought us here, so this concert better be, uh, worth it. Trust me. Now, come on. Let's get our stuff inside. So, that's about it. I'm sure his rocket was heading in the direction of Planet Spectre. Oh, it may be hard to rescue them from there. Will you help me? Okay, okay. You bet. Come on, let's suit up. One rescue coming up. Let's go, go, Buster! Strike! <laughs> Looks as though I'm gonna make the load even heavier, GV. What? You, Futura? Heavier? Never! Carrying you is like carrying a feather or wearing a silk scarf or... Enough, GV! We've got work to do. Can we switch on the time turbo? No problem. Oh, not the time turbo! Oh. I'm sorry, Laser.
Caesar, it still looks scary to me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> if they think they're scared now, just wait until I get them in my maze. Bug droids, make sure future rockets to the center stage of my ghost tunnel. Then lock them up. <laughs> Good. My plan is working. When Future's nephew is in my hands, she will come to his rescue, and then... <laughs> I'll put her in the ghost tunnels, where she'll be lost forever. It makes me dizzy. Ah, uh, GV, don't worry. We're almost there. Can't be soon enough for me. Hmm. When is the audience gonna get here? Pretty soon, I guess. Let's play a few bars and check out the microphones. Here goes. One, two, three, four. the audience now. Doesn't sound like people to me. Maybe not, but what is it? Phew, I didn't think I was gonna make it. <laughs> why does the gorilla have to drive? I ask you, why? Who ever heard of a gorilla? Driving. There's Laser Ship. This must be the place where his group is playing. But I don't see any people. You're right, Futura. I don't like the look of this. Neither do I. Let's check it out. Whoa! Well, what is it? What's going on? I don't know. Uh, 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 I do. Oh, robots! And they look like giant bugs. Maybe they're part of the audience. Or maybe not. Hey, that's my best speaker. Let's see how they like this song. <laughs> Yeah, try dancing to this beat. Blast! Those useless bugtroids! I have to do everything myself! Hey, like there's too many of them! They haven't got us yet! I... It's a freeze beam, ah, and it's got us. And so have those barks. Look, that blue light. It's a freeze beam. Laser's in trouble. We've got to help him. <laughs> that blue glow is a freeze beam. Laser and Ray and Tempo must have been drawn into a trap. Then it's up to us to get them out of it. Let's go. Those robots are really ugly. Now what are they up to? It's a web. We'll try. Now what? You'll find out soon enough, my friend. Major Rat! What's that? Ugh. Haven't seen anything that big since the last time we went whale watching. <laughs> There's nothing to laugh about, Laser. You're nothing more than bait to trap my enemy, your Aunt Futura. What's that? He 
here they come. <laughs> good, good. Futura and the Ghostbusters. My trap is working even better than I had hoped for. <laughs> Watch as I throw them into my ghost tunnels where they can wander through the dark passages in fear <laughs> forever. <laughs> I sure wish we didn't have to bust ghosts in the dark so much. Sorry about that, Eddie. But... Whoa! Suffering spirits, what is this place? I'm afraid I know what it is. No, oh, I don't like the sound of that word, uh, afraid. We've fallen into Corpulon's endless tunnels. Did you say <laughs> endless tunnels? Yes, and they're filled with ghosts. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no! But who is Corpulon? A mean and vicious ghost. I sent him into limbo years ago, but it looks as though he's back. And he tricked Laser into coming here. But why? Because he wants to get even with me. Don't worry, Futura. We'll find Laser, and we'll stop Corpulon, too. If there's a way in here, then there's a way out. Let's start there. Very good. Very good. The Ghostbusters and Futura are lost in my ghost tunnel. Fools! I want you to keep my food jug full. I can't survive without energy! Nice guy, huh? I'm sure if you want to Now, it's time to pay Futura back for putting me in ghost limbo. Tracy, stay close to me. No uh, problem. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean that close. That's better. Trace, I told you not to walk so close. Trace, cut it off. <laughs> 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 Monster, Tr Tracy. <laughs> Futura, I'll get the first one, you get the other. Let's go! Wow, that was some dance. Are you guys okay? Sure. But what's next in this place? I don't know. We've just got to keep trying to find Corpulon. Let's get going. Okay, okay. Corpulon uses a tremendous amount of energy. He actually eats it. If we had some kind of detector, we could track him down. What do you think, Trace? Can you throw something together? Perhaps. Ooh, how grody! He's been eating non-stop! Yeah, and have you noticed how his body glows when he eats? That's right, it does, but why? Must be some kind of energy. And he gets it from those big jugs, there! I wish I could smash them. Maybe he'd lose his power. Perhaps you could find the right frequency. That's it, Tempo! Let's get our instruments. We're gonna find the quartz that will smash our disgusting friend's energy jugs. There it is. That's great, Trace. Switch it on. <gasps> it's working. It should lead us directly to the center of the tunnels and Corpulon. Let's go, Ghostbusters! What are you doing there? Stop that! <sighs> Make them stop playing. I hate rock and roll music. That's it, guys. We found it. Stop them! Stop them! They're destroying my energy food! It's working! Hit it again! Let's aim the music 
get that cocoon. Maybe it'll break through. For this insolence. Watch this. All my power is now in the energy jugs. In five minutes, it will explode, and the caves will be filled in. It'll take you years to find your way out. <laughs> then I'll return, and the 30th century will be mine. <laughs> you think it's true? I'm afraid so. Look at the way those energy jugs are glowing. Laser! Thank goodness you're safe! Amputura! How did you find us? Tracy's trusty energy detector let us in. <laughs> in a few minutes, this whole place is gonna blow up and keep us locked in here. That's right. Well, well, what are we gonna do? Trace, looks like we have to call on you again. Okay, okay. Easy, Tracy. Easy. Now, Tracy, it's going to blow. No, you never should have gone to Planet Spectra without my permission, Laser. I know, Aunt Ventura. It was foolish, and I'll never do it again. But we did find out something important. What's that? Well, our music has amazing powers. We use it to smash those energy jugs and break out of the cocoon. And I'll bet we could do even more than that, man. Yeah, we could help you fight ghosts, Aunt Ventura. Hmm, it's a possibility. But for right now, how about some 30th century rock and roll? I know somebody who can't wait to sit in with you guys. Good idea. Here we go, Tracy. A one, two, three, four. Laser was very foolish to go to the ghost planet without telling Futura where he was going. Yeah, especially after she told him not to go. He and his friends were lucky that the Ghostbusters and Futura rescued them. But if you go somewhere without telling your parents where you're going, you might not be so lucky. So remember, never go anywhere until you let your parents know where you'll be and how long you're going to be there, okay? Bye. How very nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Madam Y. Allow me to introduce my uncle, John Guardian. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. I thought I'd bring Uncle John in to have his fortune told. Of course, Jessica. Sit down. Ah, this is very interesting. Ah, I see you were a soldier. That's right. I just left the service yesterday. Mm, I see you have been on many dangerous and important missions. 
Ah, and that you are a hero. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, Uncle John's modest, madam. But the crystal ball is right. But I also see that your next mission will be the most important one of your life. And you will never come back. What? You mean Uncle John will... will... No, Jessica. For your sake and the sake of the world, he simply does not come back. Oh, the image is fading. I can tell you no more. I hope I haven't upset you. No, Madam Why. I've been a soldier for a long time. It's the sort of thing we have to face. Well, I'm upset. When will this happen, Madam? Not sure, Jessica. But soon. Very soon. Ah! <gasps> Uncle John! No, Jessica! Get away! Uncle John! Uncle John! <laughs> Worse luck if he hadn't. You say there are monsters behind the mirror? Yeah, they were horrible. And they were weird, big, bug like robot things. Oh, hold it a minute, Eddie. Phone call. Hi, if you're calling the Ghostbusters, that's a bad reflection on you. Ghostbusters, Jake here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jessica and her uncle? We'll take care of it. That was Madam Y. She says Jessica and her uncle were pulled into a mirror. What's going on? Think they're ghosts? Let's find out. Let's go, go!
Just the place to send a couple of robots. <laughs> Don't forget to write. Now for Jessica. We'll have to get inside the mirror to find Jessica and her uncle. We can't do it ourselves, so we have to wait for those robot bugs to... Ow! Dang. Looks like we got our ride, guys. Let them pull us in. Uh, now, wait a minute. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Uh oh, they're robots, not ghosts. The dematerializer won't work on them. What? Jake, what happened? You mean who happened, Eddie? Look there, it's Jessica's uncle. Greetings, Ghostbusters. Welcome to the other side of the mirror. Good to see you, Mr. Guardian. You are just in time. But where's Jessica? Those bug robots. I call them invertroids. They have her. I'm going after them. Well, you're not going alone. We're going with you. Thank you, boys. I was hoping you would. There's a lot of invertroids around. And it'll take all of us to rescue Jessica. Taking her to that base. Jessica must be there too. I wonder what they're up to. I don't know, but they've got that poor girl. We gotta do something. Leave it to me. There. Pulled its plug. It's harmless now. Are you all right, miss? I think so. Oh, thank you for saving me from that horrible creature. That's our job. But now we have to get you to safety. Climb back through this mirror hole. You'll be back on Earth again. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Just stay away from mirrors for a while. Head for those tubes. We can scout from there. Place. I wonder what these tubes are for. They sure are cold. There's someone in there! Yes, he's in frozen sleep. The Invertroids must be storing the people they capture in these tubes. Well, if they've captured Jessica, then that means... She must be in one of these tubes. How are we ever gonna find her? You can find Jessica Tracy? No problem. <laughs> Tracy's got her scent. Come on, guys. Hey! 
Another excellent warm body. Yes, we will soon have all we need. We will return with them through the dimensional gate to Homeworld. Where we will place our minds inside these warm bodies. And we in Bertroids will live again. Did you hear that? I sure did, Eddie. The droids are planning to take over the bodies of all these people they've captured. So that's what they're up to. Well, we're gonna stop them. And we'll start right here. It's Jessica. Nice work, Tracy. You found her. Oh. Oh, Uncle John. And Jake. Eddie. Tracy. What was that noise? War bodies escaping. Alarm. <laughs> Escaping warm bodies. Well, that's torn it. Here they come. Oh, I'm sorry. Not your fault, Jess. Get moving, all of you. Get back through the mirrors to safety. I'll hold them here. No way, Guardian. We're in this together. Human. Drop that bug face! Oh, Jay, thank you. Hey, you saved me, I saved you. Yeah, but unfortunately, Jake, there are plenty more coming. Too many. We have to do something. But what? Just one chance. If we could just get that dimensional gate open. Of course. The Invertroids might all get pulled back into their own dimension. Then let's go Ghostbusters! It's our only chance. <laughs> Get that gate open quick! Warm bodies want to open dimensional gate. Must stop them. Can't budge it! Tracy, come help! Open the way. Most of them, but not all. Some managed to escape. They're scared now, but they could be trouble later. Well, for now, we have to get all these people back home again. 
and that's going to be a real pain. Boy, you're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's over. I think we freed everyone. Sure will be good to get home. You're next, Uncle John. No, Jessica, you go on. I'm staying here. No! But Uncle John, why? The Invertroids that escaped are hiding for now, but they'll be back. Somebody has to stay here. To guard the Earth from their return. Remember when Madam Y said that I might never return from my greatest mission? Well, this is it. Oh, I'll come back for short visits, but this will be my new home. I'm staying here to protect you, the Earth, and everything I love. But you'll be alone. I don't know. I'll have a whole new universe to explore. I'm sure to find a few friends here. Now, please, no more argument. Your friends are waiting. Finally! We were afraid you got stuck, Jessica. And where's your uncle? He's not coming. He's going to stay in the dark side. Why? Why? Because he's a soldier. And he's doing it for us. In today's show, John Guardian was faced with a job he didn't want to do. But he realized that the job was important, so he did it anyway. If you have a job to do, such as doing your homework or taking out the trash, you should do that job as well as you can. That's called responsibility, and it's an important part of growing up. Bye now, see you again soon.